So it le- seems just well, brief- briefly, was it the other day or a few days ago, um, Lizzo went out to Cardi B's birthday party and she decided to wear an outfit that didn't do her body or figure any sort of justice really not because she's fat just because it just didn't look that great but considering the party was a kind of bashment themed you know caribbean daggering festival maybe this outfit did kind of lend itself to that but it could have been done a little bit better and obviously people on the internet because she was wearing something see-through and sheer they kind of immediately went to um rihanna's outfit and kind of compared the two when obviously they don't especially contextually where they were going body types and you know who they are as artists it didn't really make much sense but they opened up an argument around the idea that just because you're fat doesn't mean you can't wear certain things and the only reason why people are kind of criticizing Lizzo was because she's just a bigger girl and because Rihanna is slimmer and obviously maybe more appealing to the eye people don't really have much of a problem with her and I don't necessarily agree with that like I said I think the major issue with it was the fact that it just wasn't flattering what Lizzo was wearing it just didn't look that great especially with her walking down the street with no shoes on right it just looked a bit yucky it just didn't look that great you have to be let's be completely honest just doesn't look that nice doesn't look that chic whatsoever but again considering where she's going you don't need to be chic going to a bashman party you just need to be able to be in an outfit that would you know allow somebody to cross the room and try and dagger you right that's basically what you're wearing your outfit for it's a daggering beacon to some extent but it does offer up an interesting conversation around people's lack of honesty in general when it comes to body image or when it comes to body shape or when it comes to be able to wear certain clothes like i said before i have gone i have gone up and down in weight over the years you know many many times my biggest i was like 280 pounds which is maybe 17 stone or something right and then my smallest i was like 180 pounds which is like full 13 stone or something stupid like that right crazy amount so i've, I've fluctuated up and down and at the moment i'm about 260 255 and i'm trying to get down to a 220 by the end of the year so that's why i think i can kind of hold my weight and kind of be stable at that and most of the reason why i didn't is because i want to fit into cool fashion clothes obviously if you know my podcast you know that i'm obviously very much interested in streetwear in fashion and something i've kind of been interested in from the entirety of my life and the brands and stuff that i'm interested in unfortunately you have to be of a certain size you just can't wear them if you're a bigger size it just is what it is so because of that i've always kind of had that in my head i've always wanted to look good in clothes i like to look good in clothes i like to look good somewhat semi-naked so that's the point uh, i kind of try to work out with and the uh, the unfortunate part of it is that for whatever reason whether it's kind of you know stuff that's ingrained in us or whatever it may be there's no denying that certain clothes or certain styles of fashion look better on certain people than they look on other people shape wise height wise skin color whatever right it's like cobalt blue on a on a dark darker skin such as i looks amazing red on my skin looks amazing green on my skin looks amazing even a white looks amazing but if you're super pale maybe wearing all white isn't the best thing so there is clearly things that we see with our eyes that we know is true but for whatever reason we tend to kind of twist the truth when it comes to body size when it comes to fatness when it comes to slimness skin and whatever it may be we just kind of change the fact and there's no denying especially when it comes to a lizzo character as well who's probably and the most frustrating part of it because i don't even get the feeling that she's like a a kind of confident bigger girl who's happy being the way she is i always get the feeling that she's kind of lying to herself and effectively she really wants to be skinny really wants to be slim but obviously doesn't have the i wouldn't say the willpower or whatever what something to basically do it because it does require a lot of work to go from the size that she is and to get anywhere near where rihanna was here which she's not at the moment she's obviously this is probably her maybe one of her slimmest um it does require a lot of work and it's not something everyone can do and sometimes genetic wise it's just not something that's even in your future right there's just certain parts of your body are always going to be big it's what it is but it's just difficult to do and i think because it's difficult to do most people i feel like make the excuses and then try to adopt the i'm going to be part of the fat acceptance movement just so they can kind of come to some sort of um some sort of i guess safe place or a place where they're not you know getting under such mental anguish about the state that they're in because again it can take a toll on you when you're a bigger person and you're finding it just hard to navigate around the world stuff doesn't fit you you just feel ugly right it just i can especially for a female as well right you're not really getting the attention that you think you should be getting all this sort of stuff can definitely play tricks on your brain so i can understand why you'd want to if you're a bigger person decide hey let me just 
adopt this um i'm gonna fight for the you know representation and i'm gonna fight for the rights i'm gonna fight for the you know respect of people who are bigger and use that as my kind of calling card but there are people who do it authentically who you know who do it authentically and there are people i think who do it as a kind of a charlatan thing and as soon as they kind of get fit and lose weight they suddenly kind of put that stuff to the side which i've never helped which i've never got same way how i don't get how for whatever reason people like jamila jamil are like you know advocates for like i don't know um what's that thing she has because of something it's really body acceptance as well right it's just odd why there's models and fitness experts and influencers who are fat acceptance um ambassadors too i just don't understand that right whatever because you got a six pack why did why should we listen to you right doesn't make any sense but with Liz, i feel like she is someone in denial she definitely doesn't isn't as happy as she kind of pretends to be to be big as she is because it feels like whenever people point out how big she is she immediately gets really upset and angry and i think that if you are really happy about your happy in the size that you are people's words about what you look like in certain clothing or certain fashion won't really bother you that much because if anything you use that as an opportunity to tell people that hey this is why i wear the stuff that i wear so people can come to a point of understanding and acceptance that people the people that look like me can also look this way can also look sexy whatever it may be right that's what you'd use that opportunity was you wouldn't use the opportunity to cry and to complain and to kind of make it all about you and your health and your mental health and your sweet that's just it just feels to me really manipulative almost gaslighting in a way right because you know what the reaction is going to be like when you go out somewhere wearing what you're wearing right and you want to cause a controversy and then as soon as it doesn't go your way or it doesn't necessarily get the reaction you want you start to cry a foul and she did obviously off the back of this decide to go on instagram live and kind of cry about a situation she said something that i thought was really batshit crazy but this is what she said in this clip let me just get into why i'm a little heated People are upset because I wore a fucking see-through dress to Cardi B's birthday. First of all, happy birthday, Cardi B. I got to hug her and say happy birthday. I had social anxiety, so I left pretty quickly. Are you insane? So now, not only is she a fact acceptance movement person, she also has body social, social anxiety. Are you for real? This is what you're telling me. You're trying to tell me Lizzo, the person that does everything but release music, to call attention is now somebody that has social anxiety really these people are insane people like this really insane the ones that who want to have every single victim card in their back pocket that they can pull out when things don't go well for them but then they don't want to do the one thing that they've been put on this earth to do which is create art and make meaningful music she's got a heavenly heavenly voice she's got a talent for performing on stage regardless of her size she's a great performer she can play instruments but she doesn't release music like music is like so scarce with lizzo it's always crying and complaining about body image and bodies and stuff that again that she's doing herself to court controversy or to court attention and then when it doesn't go her way she starts to cry and complain and now because it's got to a point where you know the criticism may be touching home she starts to pull out the social anxiety card i've got social anxiety don't be mean to me i like are you insane social anxiety this is what you want to go with come on man give us a break but it was fun as fuck in those minutes that i was there i don't go out often because you know i'm scared of everything but i left my house for cardi and i wore a see-through outfit i'm not reading the comments specifically because i really don't have time to like yeah you have read the comments let's not lie to you. let's not pretend why do why do why do celebrities do this or people of notoriety why do they do this you have two options if you're somebody uh, somewhat of a public figure two one you do the joe rogan approach and you definitely just don't read comments and i think he doesn't personally i think if anything he has people in his team who maybe let him know what people are thinking if it's a controversial topic like for instance the jack dorsey one right or some interviews that he's done where he's not said the right thing and he's cleared it up later on he gets somebody he also somebody in his team that maybe reports back on stuff and maybe if stuff is really crazy he can kind of respond to it but he's not going through the comments and reading them so you do it that way or you do the other approach where you read the comments but you then 
but you then kind of make it lighthearted. You maybe reply to a few, you maybe include some in your show, whatever it may be, but you just leave the comments to be what it is because there is never going to be a world, I don't think, unless we kind of have a society or a world that we live in where you're having to scan your passport in in order for you to open a social media account. But it's never going to exist a place or a time in the world, I, I don't think, in the future where people are going to be civil or they're going to be somewhat nice to you on the internet in the comments. They're never going to be that way, especially when it comes to hot button topics because they they don't know you they're on their keyboards there's a distance there and you can basically say the most flagrant shit you want with no real repercussions that's what it's basically there for so that's the case there's no way to kind of create a safe space for you to exist on social media unless you private your page you create your own platform you vet everyone that comes on there's things that you could do obviously but it requires work but if you want to just stay on these free apps that everyone else uses yeah in the kind of you know it's it basically the equivalent of the town square you have to accept and be okay with people shouting crazy shit at you as you walk through and get your flipping fruits in the morning do you know what i mean it just is what it is i don't think that should be the case of like oh i don't read comments and then i can talk about mental health it's like if it's going to set your mental health that much don't have any social media turn off the comments in general there are things you can do to kind of prevent those things but they don't because they like the engagement because if they turn off the comments the engagement you know basically um takes a nosedive and no one checks your content anymore because part of the reason why they come to your page in the first place is to kind of get into the debate because essentially your platform is weirdly like a little forum right people get to talk about stuff in your comments reply back to people da, 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 da. so that's the, that is basically the case so the fact that she's using this position again is just insane but again i think liz is one of the biggest victims that exists out there she, she loves it all is it except for releasing the music bring my vibration down with you know negativity but it's very funny to me that people are upset that i am wearing a see-through outfit or that i'm twerking in a see-through outfit like this is disgusting this is what's wrong with <laughs> don't you have bills to pay don't you got mouth let me just get into why i'm but it doesn't really take that long to leave comments. Again, it doesn't really take that long to leave hurtful comments to people. It just takes a couple of seconds. It's not that these people are waste, are kind of not paying their bills by making comments. Again, it's just a, I don't know, man. I just don't, I just don't think this attitude works. If anything, it just encourages people to say more mean things. It just, it does have the opposite effect. Either you ignore it and try and play dumb and kind of have the stiff upper lip and try and keep your head up. Or like I said, you do a Joe Rogan approach how people maybe filter back some things to you and then you can maybe from a distance hear what people are saying, criticisms or whatnot, agree or disagree and just move on. That's basically what you do. Next slide. To feed, including your own. Don't you have a life to live? Don't you want to fall in love and make friends? And Don't you got shit to do? Go read the news, bitch, before I read you, ho. The fuck? Why are you worried about me? And it'd be the same motherfuckers doing the most disgusting shit. Like, you're disgusting, bitch. Calling me disgusting, bitch. I wonder who called it disgusting. I didn't see no one call it disgusting. I just saw people having a really passionate debate about why some people are saying... Yeah, what I heard for the most part is people defending their right to say maybe she doesn't look that great in her outfit because she's fat and maybe Rihanna looks that great in her outfit because she's not. And we should be able to say that. But it's okay if you're bigger, you want to wear it. But let's be honest and say one cl person clearly looks better than the other just because of their body size, not because of their attractiveness, just because of their body size, it lends better to wear that sort of outfits. It is what it is. But maybe in the future, we could get to a point where that's not a thing. But unfortunately, again, it's mostly because of women as well. When it comes to beauty standards and it comes to magazines and shit, when it comes to fashion style, you know, the only people that are really going to be taking the piss out of you, those kind of things are going to be other women. It's not going to be men. Men don't really give a shit. There's men out there that will probably tear and, you know, <laughs> would probably take uh, Lizzo down in a heartbeat, right? They'd be kind of queuing up and gagging to be her date or to be in a relationship with her or to hook up, whatever, right? I'm sure she's she's perfectly fine in that regard. So it's never really a men issue for the most part. Yes, there's some men who are not going to be interested in her because of her size, but for the most part, she's probably got a, f a pretty decent amount of guys trying to hit her up in, at this very moment. But it's just a case of like, our eyes don't lie. We know what we see. We know what we see when you see these pictures. We see, you know, one person looking like that and we see another person looking like that. It just is what it is. Like, let's not deny the facts. To feed, 
including your own? Don't you have a life to live? Don't you want to fall in love and make friends? And boy, don't you got well, shit people to can do? Just wear what Go they read want. the news, bitch. Oh, come on. Before I read you, ho. Okay, it's me. The fuck? What's she say? Why are you worried about me? And it be the same other. So that's the thing. You can't pick and choose what people worry about you for. Do you want them to worry about you for your antics or for your music? And if you say don't worry about me, then they will stop worrying about you and your music sales will flop and then you have to ramp up the antics again, which you hate because it brings about all this negative attention. So you, have, you can't pick and choose. Fuck is doing the most disgusting shit. Like anyway, anyway, let's move on. What's this one say? Boy, where people could just wear what they want and there wasn't a motherfucking parade or conversation or commentary about it. And I'm not even mad. I'm just drunk and passionate because at the end of the day, this is not about me. And I, I just want to continue. Every time I every time I speak my mind, people are always like, Lizzo's upset because people are mean to her, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you mean to me. I'm rich, bitch. And I'm beautiful. And I have a beautiful family. Like, I'm good. I got friends who love me. I got an inner circle tighter than my motherfucking pussy, bitch. You think I'm worried about y'all? I'm not worried about y'all. I do this because y'all continually disrespect human beings like it's a sport, like it's something to do. Y'all disrespect people like it's like ch fucking changing your outfit. You disrespect people like it's ordering a. There is something to be said about these new age pop stars and celebrities who clearly, clearly, for whatever reason, cannot handle the scrutiny that comes with putting yourself in front of people in the way that they do. And it's something that always kind of surprises me because you would have thought with the years that people have spent on social media, especially people that are kind of like social media native, that you would have been a little bit more attuned and adept and understanding that people just say wild shit online. Most of the time they don't mean it. They just say it just to get a reaction, just to get the like, especially now on, on Instagram, there's an option to, to like comments. So maybe they're trying to do that. They're trying to game the system and just say the most controversial things. People can like their comment or engage in it, get more followers to get your attention. So you mention them on the stream so they can clip it, send it to their friends. There's so many weird things going on, but from the clip I remember seeing of like a Charlie D'Amelio, the really popular girl on TikTok, she has a reality TV show and she was crying about all the trolls and stuff you know um attacking on the app and really shaking and complaining and their parents were basically you know awkwardly sitting there hoping that she didn't want to quit because you know her basically career is paying for their entire lives but it surprised me because I was thinking shouldn't somebody at 16 years of age be a lot more adept at dealing with trolls online because effectively everybody in their life is a troll they know what trolls are. They they do troll things online. They're on message boards. They're on this, they're on that. Don't you think you'd be a little bit more adept to it? But for whatever reason, this newer generation, or you know, younger or older, Lilith is a bit older, of course. They just don't seem to be able to hack it. They just crumble at every single turning point, and it seems to me like I don't, I don't know. And it, it's just it's just odd. I just find it really odd. That's the thing I only find about it. It's just strange. And of course, was the end. She then goes on to reveal a bum, which, none, you know... It's none of your business. I'm not going to show. But I but, work. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Lizzo seems unhappy with people criticizing her for her weight. She doesn't like the attention that she gets when she posts, you know, those crazy things online and shit, but she does it anyway. I don't know, man. The girl's, the, the girl's a weirdo, man. She can sing her heart out. She can obviously play instruments, release more music, stop all the antics, and maybe all the hate will stop too because it feels like maybe I say people are concentrating on because anything you put out there, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm blown.